Heinemann Podcast is a production of Heinemann Publishing. Heinemann is a provider of resources written by real teachers for real classrooms. Heinemann values teachers as decision makers and students as curious learners. Discover the path to lifelong professional learning at Heinemann.com. Heinemann is dedicated to teachers. I'm Brad from Heinemann, and today on the Heinemann Podcast, a special read aloud from Allison Marchetti and Rebecca O'Dell, co-authors of Beyond Literary Analysis, teaching students to write with passion and authority about any text. Run-of-the-mill analysis essays have their place, but when is the last time your students were excited to write them? And when were you last excited to read them? In Beyond Literary Analysis, Allison and Rebecca expand on the idea of what is open to analysis, from classic novels to sports to Game of Thrones and everything in between. When students are given the opportunity to write thoughtfully about the things they love, whether it be film, a song, sports games, or a piece of art, they're able to focus on developing their analytical skills and growing into strong writers. Allison and Rebecca begin with the text conversation that started it all. Have you finished grading the essays? No, read this instead. Captain America on the Potomac. Hang on. Ah, Linda Holmes. She's so super smart. Oh wait, listen to this first since you're watching Orphan Black right now. Pop culture happy hour, Orphan Black and dream sequences. I wish I could read all Linda Holmes all day. I wish our students could write like Linda Holmes. I wish I could throw these catcher essays away. Help. Maybe we should. Well? What about next year? I say no more catcher essays. Bold move. No, I'm serious. Well, what would that look like? Like most of our crazy ideas, this book was born over a text message conversation. And like most of our crazy ideas, we became obsessed with it and wanted to figure it out right away. So we pushed the stacks of literary analysis essays to the side and started reading. We read everything. We read more Linda Holmes. And Ken Tucker. Vince Cunningham. Danny Chow. Chloe Rad. Rachel Verona Cote. And as we read, we had a few aha moments. No one is writing a boring essay about the catcher in the rye. Analysis is everywhere, but it's about video games and athlete seasons and the latest album and the new Netflix series. The writing that truly held our attention oozed with enthusiasm and expertise and was seriously fun to read. So that meant if our students were ever going to be able to write insightful, funny, fresh analysis like Linda, we would have to chart a new course for teaching analytical writing. This is the book we wished we'd had on that night of the epiphany-inducing text conversation, a book to help us map the route for our young writers who deserve so much more than the same boring literary analysis assignment that we wrote in high school and our parents wrote before us, a book that offers our students the tools that real writers use to engagingly explore a text. Fast forward two years, today we sit at our desks looking at these student titles. HBO's Gospel, Game of Thrones. What the cover of To Pimp a Butterfly says about the American justice system. Sarah Kay's Way to Success, the balance maintained in the poem, If I Should Have a Daughter. How Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band reflects the Beatles' longing for their old touring days of 1963. How to Break Up Like Beyonce, How Lemonade Teaches Women Empowerment and Vulnerability. How Eric Thames proved little changes lead to big results in baseball. We're so excited to share the tools that will help your students explore and analyze the text they love. A world of exciting, authentic, analytical writing is at your fingertips if you just look for it. It's waiting for you on your Twitter feed and in your inbox. You listen to it on the drive home as NPR plays in the background. It's on the podcast you savor in quiet evening hours after a day's work. It's in the writing around the sports stats your students track as often as they breathe. Even literary analysis, the kind you thought lived only in dusty library books in the reference section or inside students' binders in the form of five-paragraph essays, even this kind of analysis exists if you look for it. 
When you open your eyes and ears to the real world of analysis, you'll discover powerful writing full of voice and passion. You will discover the smartest writing about your favorite players and your favorite movies and your favorite books. Writing that makes you think. Writing that inspires. Writing that is a far cry from the formulaic analysis you knew as a student. What would it take to get our students to write more like Linda Holmes, Ken Tucker, Chloe Rad? A bigger vision for analysis. Taking our cues from our favorite writers, we must broaden the definition of analysis for the 21st century classroom so that it is at once deeper and richer, but also incredibly simple. Authentic analysis is a piece of writing that explores a text. The word analysis comes from the Greeks, and a close look at its etymology reveals an original meaning that seems to convey the exact opposite of the drilled down literary forms of the past. Analysis is a breaking up, a loosening, a releasing, a noun form of the Greek word analin, which means unloose, release, set free, to loose a ship from its moorings. Let's break down this new definition of analysis. Analytical writing isn't just one thing. Sometimes writers analyze a text in what Catherine Bomer calls a journey of thought essay, starting in one place, meandering through a maze of different but related ideas, and reaching a sense of conclusion by the end. Sometimes writers break apart a text through argument. Readers also encounter compelling analysis in reviews of a text. While the close kind of analysis we value is in the classroom isn't the main priority of a review, critics do make a claim. This movie is great or it's the worst film of the year, and they support it with evidence. Often reviews dip in and out of moments of close reading and analysis of the text at hand. Traditional academic literary analysis students are taught in school does not explore. It is the artifact of prepared and hardened thinking. A student begins with a hard and fast take on the text and walks through the way the text demonstrates that idea. By contrast, Abby Rabinowitz, a professor of writing at Columbia University, characterizes the job of a writer of analysis this way, quote, being a writer has little to do with arguing a claim to the bitter end and everything to do with acknowledging that an argument worth making is full of complications and contradictions, that there are no simple truths. True analysis, the kind written by professionals and that people choose to read, looks closely at a topic as a way of exploring its nuances, its tiny details, its contradictions. When a writer does this, grabs a text and holds it up to the light to see all of its sides, she ends up probing the meaning instead of proclaiming it. By the end, both the writer and the reader have arrived at a new, deeper understanding of the text. Teachers are often encouraged to get the right book in the hand of the right student at the right time. This is when reading magic happens. The same is true for writing. In authentic analysis, those right texts are the text students will choose to analyze for themselves. We use the term text broadly. While the word historically connotes something written, we've loosed the ship from its moorings and consider a text to be anything that has a beginning, middle, and end that can be broken down into smaller pieces and studied. This broadening of the definition of text is what allows students to write about dance, sports, art, video games, television, music, fashions, sports cars, and yes, books. Consider what might be possible if we broaden our definition so that students' analysis becomes more about loosing a text, releasing its nuances and meaning, and setting ideas free. Our thanks to Allison and Rebecca for their read aloud today. In their new book, Beyond Literary Analysis, Allison and Rebecca explore the meaning of analysis from an entirely new perspective in hopes of challenging traditional notions of what students should be analyzing and how they should write about it. They want students' writing to be where passion and analysis meet by redefining the meaning of the word text. If you'd like to learn more about their book, Beyond Literary Analysis, check out Heinemann.com, where you can read sample chapters, blogs, watch videos from the authors, and so much more. 
You can follow the authors on Twitter. We've provided links to their handles on the Heinemann blog, as well as a link to their website, Moving Writers. We'd love you to subscribe to the Heinemann Podcast on iTunes and Google Play, where you can also leave a comment or review. We're streaming our podcast pretty much everywhere podcasts can be found, so we'd encourage you to subscribe and follow us everywhere you get your podcasts. You can also follow Heinemann on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our various Facebook groups. Plus, you can get a daily teacher tip right on your phone directly from Heinemann Authors by downloading the Heinemann Teacher Tip app. All this and more on Heinemann.com. Thanks for listening.